Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. How are we all? Good to see you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome everyone on Zoom. Welcome everybody on Facebook. Welcome everybody on the replay. <laughs> oh, I would love to know who is here with me. Is this your first time here with me? Is Have you been to our masterclasses before? Let me know in the comments. Let's find the comments, the chat in the Zoom room so I can see what's going on. Okay, awesome. Some familiar faces here. This is so exciting. So exciting. So we'd love to know, is this your first time at the Breakthrough the Money Ceiling Masterclass or have you been before? And where in the world are you tuning in from? I would love to love to see where everyone is tuning in from. And what are you excited about? learning this week welcome welcome ah oh, this is so exciting so we have some familiar faces and some new faces a huge welcome everybody this is just so exciting and it's been wonderful reading everyone's introduction posts as well so looking forward to reading yours if you haven't posted it in the group um yet and as we're getting to know each other i'll share a little bit about my journey um, so that's so you know who I am and uh, why I am teaching this. I am a success and business mentor, and I'm the creator of the Helix Method, which is our powerful energy psychology and reality creation modality. And I'm a master Akashic Records teacher and consultant with the Soul Journeys Method. And our mission is to help spiritual entrepreneurs and coaches live at their highest value so they can live at their fullest self-expression and to live their their best lives and to be able to live the life of their dreams, because I truly believe when we are operating from our best selves and operating from a place of love and abundance, we make better decisions. We're better parents, we're better friends, we're better partners, we're better business owners, and this just creates a huge ripple effect around the globe. So we do this by being the number one place for our community members to come to for alignment, manifesting, channeling higher realms of consciousness, and, and making a bigger impact with their with their businesses. So this is the place to be to, to dream bigger and to live and create that reality. So this is something I'm really passionate about because if we go back quite a few years now, I used to work in the corporate world for many years. I was working as a senior manager for social services and I, I led on high profile stuff. I was developing multi-million pound services, managing change across multiple agencies, leading a multidisciplinary team of the police, fire, uh, fire service, probation. And during my time, I led on developing services for those affected by domestic abuse and sexual abuse, preventing radicalization, drug and alcohol and homelessness. And then prior to all of that, I was developing services for older people, including mental health units, people with severe dementia. So in the pri pub, uh, private sector couldn't cope, people would come to, to social services. And I share all of that to really help you understand that I understand trauma really well combined with um, my psychology degree and postgraduate in counseling and years his years now I'm gonna be 50 this year um, energy coaching people and during all of that time whilst I was in uh, social services when I look back I realized I was doing what was expected of me and I was wearing the you know the corporate mask of success that's what I call it and Alongside that, I'm a single parent. I have been for the majority of my son's lives. They're now they're now adults. Um, they're called Alpha Mo. And when I look back, the truth is I was actually too busy to have a life outside of work. You know, there wasn't enough time actually to spend with my children beyond dropping them here and there for their parties, their clubs, and working additional hours because I thought I had to, to do more work to get the job done. And I was constant, constantly in a reaction mode, responding to work demands, responding to family demands, and dramas would be popping up left, right and centre. And of course, you know, working for social services is stressful. Um, so my nervous system was completely frazzled. And, you know, at the end of the day, I, if I hadn't fallen asleep with my sons already, then I was collapsing on my my worn out sofa just flicking flicking the tv on just to have some company you know background company and just numbing the loneliness and 
this illusion that I was just perpetuating until, I, and I remember this just so clearly one day, I was literally just sitting on this sofa, this brown sofa, just thinking, oh my God, is this it? Is this life? I don't want this to be all that there is to life. What have I created? And I know that I had this, this real sense of there's just got to be more to life than this. And you know, by this, I mean, by doing what was expected, working as a senior manager, being a single parent, doing this high profile job, and working hard. And the thing with working in the in the public sector is, you know, there's more work being piled on, and we had pay freezes. And so there was just too much month at the end of the money. And at that point in time, just not having child maintenance coming to me for my sons, the dad was paying, you know, the core school fees, which were chunky, but I was covering all their extras and their day to day living. And I was, you know, the breadwinner for, for, for us as a family. And I just couldn't do it on my salary alone. And then the long term illness of my um, father before he passed away, that was a massive turning point for me. It really gave me a wake up call because I'd seen my dad saving for retirement all his life and he actually never had the opportunity to enjoy it because he was ill health retired and so he didn't have the you know the retirement that he had envisaged he was in and out of hospital like a yo-yo my parents home was filled up with you know medical equipment and oxygen tanks and all those things and my mum was running ragged um caring for him and I wasn't seeing him as much as I would have liked to because I was always working or doing everything on my own for my sons and you know, I didn't see my dad enough. And ultimately, he left us, you know, far too soon. And like, so many of us, we have a loved one that has missed out on things that they would have loved, you know, like, I just, you know, I look back at key events, like my, he would have loved to have brought my sister down the aisle, he'd have loved meeting my nieces and nephews, you know, he'd have loved them so much and seeing my sons grow into the men that, that you know, they are today. Seeing them change their surnames to Havers, that would have made my dad's day uh, really would have done. And I was just like, I don't want to miss out on all of these things because I've just put off life and you don't know what's going to happen. I want to have more of life, more of life now. And at that point, I was I was on the struggle bus of money with never enough at the end of the month. And that's just incredibly stressful for the nervous system. It's just exhausting to be in that place. It's feeling very contracted and really stuck in contraction on that hamster wheel, just working to pay bills. And, you know, as soon as the money came in, it just flew out and I was juggling credit cards to pay for the necessities and it was just you know it's just simply exhausting and I got to the point I was just no longer willing to tolerate my experiences of life and part of that backstory is as a single parent I'd extracted my children from a cycle that wasn't serving them with their father you know which I'll share a little bit more about this week but so I was, I was working really hard and I knew that I, I had a choice I had to think differently and I had to think about, okay, how can I maximize my revenue potential and have more time, more so more time, more money, more quality time with my sons, more time to do the things that I, you know, actually loved, more time to have fun, more time to be with my mum. And I realized it was time for me to leave. And that was one big scary decision. Um, so, you know, whilst I finally got the courage to put my big girl pants on and to and to leave, and I, you know, done the struggle bus with money. And what I then realized was I just literally swapped it for whilst I was an employee to an earning, and I was earning a good wage for the public sector, but then I swapped it for the struggle bus as an entrepreneur in the earlier years of our business you know, where clients were sporadic and it just felt, felt like there was more expenses than the revenue. But that all said, all the investments that I've put into myself and my business have paid off, you know, all the investments in training programs, certifications, the coaches and the mentors so that I could learn from them has paid off. I've done a huge amount of inner work. I continue to do my own inner work. And um, I'm now so, so grateful to be able to um, have grown our company to a multi six figure company. We've got the most fabulous team one of my sons works with us Alf he does our video editing and our podcast editing so I'm so blessed to have been able to create that opportunity for for him as well and we have the most amazing community you guys are all here and we have the best clients from around the world so I'm so so grateful and I have more time with my sons more time with my mum and the lifestyle and the relationship with my mum that I craved. One of my clients was saying, I don't have the relationship that you have with your mum. It wasn't always like that. It really wasn't. So I'm so blessed to have got this relationship with my mum now, now um, 
you know, as well as part of all of this. I've completely turned my life around and it is through doing the inner energetic work with the Helix Method and the Akashic Records that I'm going to introduce you to this week. So I'm so excited to be able to share this with you. And just in terms of a bit of context, so we serve our clients through our program. So we have the Wealth Portal. I'll just share a little bit about these in case I mention them during the week. And you're like, what's she talking about? So the Wealth Portal is where we dive in. And um, with the Helix Methods, which is our energy psychology modality, you calibrate to a new financial goal and break through your money ceiling. Then we have the Infinite Prosperity Collective. So this is our six-figure business mastermind for coaches and healers who are ready to learn to attract clients with ease be able to sell their programs with ease so that they can make those 10k plus months inevitable and then we have two certification programs so we have the helix method and this is our energy psychology manifesting certification program where you learn how to show your clients how to create rapid results in all areas of your life and so that you become the go-to person in your niche and create that you know referral rich practice and then we have our akashic record certification program as well where you learn to channel the Akashic records for yourself and your clients. And then, of course, I work privately with a handful of, of private clients as well. So that's how we serve people. And before we dive into our flow for today, I just want to give a little bit of housekeeping. So the replay for each of our masterclasses is held in the pop-up group, the Breakthrough the Money Ceiling, um, on Facebook. So you can just search for that um, in the search bar, break through the money ceiling, and it should pop up for you. So if you desire to you know, revisit uh, and uh, go over a replay again, then just head over to the Facebook group and you'll find them all there in the featured section and in the guide section. And our flow is as follows. So you're going to receive and enjoy five powerful masterclasses on how to expand your capacity to receive more money so you're able to make a bigger impact with your business and to feel fully self-expressed in all areas of your life so you have that balance and that harmony and that the alignment to what you desire. So today we are diving into the art of up-leveling your money consciousness. Tomorrow at two o'clock, we're unlocking the secrets of reality creation. When I say two o'clock, I know some people are from different parts of the, the, the different time zones to me. I'm saying uh, that's British summertime, so BST, if you um, need to, to do a time time zone conversion. And worldtimebuddy.com is the best place. It's a great, great place to be able to do any time zone conversions if you need that as a resource. Then Wednesday at two o'clock, which is summertime, we are channeling higher realms of consciousness for your breakthrough. So you'll receive an Akashic record activation. So I cannot wait for you to, to receive that as well. And then Thursday, we have a time change. <laughs> so Thursday at six o'clock, British summertime, we're mastering the energetics of momentum. So we're continuing doing energy work together. And every day we're going to be doing energy work together. So I really encourage you to this is the most important thing you can give yourself this week. So to set aside the time to set aside between sort of set aside about 75 minutes each time. So you've got time for integration. Sometimes we'll go to about 75 minutes. Um, so you don't want to rush off anywhere um, quickly afterwards so that you've just got that time to really allow yourself to integrate and to um, embody. And then Friday we'll be back at two o'clock UK time. So British summer time where we'll be diving into all your questions so your questions will be answered. So any questions that you have during our time together, please do post them in the group. If you do hashtag question, that would be really helpful because then I'll be able to find them more easily and we'll gather them all up and answer them all for you all on Friday. And of course, throughout the week, you've got the opportunity to come and join us in the Zoom room um, or watch it live via the Facebook group or, or catch the replay in the Facebook group as well. Alrighty. And I'm so excited. We do have some incredible invitations for you. And I'll start to share more about the, how you can continue with the momentum that we've started this week in our different programs. And I'll start to share those on Wednesday for you. And we've got some, I always love to offer time sensitive bonuses for when you pay in full. So we've got some juicy bonuses for the first five people um, who pay in full for their, for their program. And they'll receive a private one to one with me when they when they shop with us and that's before Tuesday the 16th of, of May so stay tuned for, for the details around that if you already know you want to come in and just reach out now and uh, let me know and we'll chat through what that what that looks like oh and the exciting thing is is we have recently just in um, updated our system so that um, you can pay in USD or in British pounds so you've got those options as well which is really really exciting 
The other logistics to say is replays will be available till Sunday, the 21st of May, and then we, we wrap up and it all goes away. Alrighty. So I'm so excited to be sharing this with you. One of the things we do love to do as well, we, we share prizes and love to gift you. So we will be um, popping your names into the drawer for everyone who has invited um, a, a friend to come and join us. And as they come in to the Facebook group, they let us know who's invited them and then we'll pop your name into the drawer. And another great way to, um, to share and help to other people to be inspired to you know raise their money consciousness is to... You know, take a screenshot of us live, um, tag us in it, share it on social media, whether that's Facebook or Instagram, um, and uh, tag me, Louisa Havers, so that we can we can find it and we'll pop your pop your name into the drawer as well. I know that when people have done this before, their friends have been curious to see what they're up to, how they're upgrading their 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 mindset, and um, some of their friends have come and joined us and really thank them for, thank them for the experience. So. Thank you so much to everybody has, who has already shared. I just wanted to let you know how you could get involved if that if that speaks to you. And the other thing to say is every time you take action, and we're going to really encourage you to um, show up for yourselves and to be accountable, is let us know the action that you're taking in the in the comments and in the chat, and um, we'll pop your pop your name into the drawer as well for the different prizes that we've got, which we'll tell you about every day this this week as well. So. I'm going to invite you now just to take a moment to become fully present so we can be really focused on this time together. So just to gift yourself a couple of letting go breaths. Just close your eyes so you can go within. And just call all of your energy back to the here and now. And to take a moment to consider what is your intention for being on this masterclass, whether you're live or on the replay? What emotions might you be feeling in your body right now? Are you noticing any contractions? Just become aware of them, just be in the allowance of the feelings. And then just to bring to your awareness on a scale of one to 10, how expansive, how aligned to your intentions, what you're wanting to create. On a scale of one to 10, one being not at all, 10 being 100%. Where are you feeling right now? Just taking a moment to become aware. Let us know in the comments, in the chat. How would you want to feel at the end of our time together? We've got some numbers coming in. A little bit of a pulse check. Beautiful. Perfect. I'm going to get you to do this check in at the beginning of each of our masterclasses together and at the end. Pop in the chat because energy follows intention. So it, we really can use the gift of intention. We want to be intentional. So what's your intention? Pop it in the pop it in the chat. So it's my intention that you have immediate shifts for your money breakthrough and that you start to calibrate to a higher frequency so you can manifest with more ease. Wouldn't it be fun to call in some surprise money. Beautiful. Okay, so fabulous. Margaret's already in. I know you are. I'm so glad to do it. It'll be lovely. Rachel, I want to do the Helix Method program. Yes. Yes. 
exciting. All righty, this is awesome. So we've got lots of intentions to get to a 10 and reflections of just being in the allowance of where the contraction is right now. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so if I don't see your comment right now, I do always go back and, and read them all. So keep, keep your comments coming. Um, so I will look forward to, as I see them coming in and um, we'll, we'll read them in full. Um, and circle back if I've missed any. Alrighty, so let's dive in to the art of up-leveling your money consciousness. So just to explain what I mean by up-leveling. So an up-level is the phase following a breakthrough where we've you know, come out of a contracted state, stepped into a more expansive state where we're assimilating a higher energetic state and embodying new beliefs into our thinking. So this is the embodied state. And it's amazing. You know, who here has already experienced that feeling of that up level? But what I notice, like, yes, <laughs> ready for another one. It does, it feels amazing. But what I notice is that often we can view the up level as our savior. It's a bit like the up level is gonna solve everything. We're going to be in pure bliss, total abundance, and we're going to stay in the flow state forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and never come out of it. The thing is, the stresses don't go away. And it's actually very natural to be moving in and out of contraction and expansion. So there's a bit of a myth. If you've had this hope that you'll stay in the flow state for, forever and ever, it's not, it's not your fault. There's loads of marketing out there perpetuating this illusion. And there is a real art to this. So I'm very excited. Today, you're going to learn the art of up-leveling your money consciousness, increasing your capacity for more expansion to be able to move through the contractions that are a part of the rhythm of life. So let's dive into what's happening because I see it as a breakthrough cycle. And this will be familiar if you've ever stepped outside of your comfort zone. It's like your starting point is your comfort zone before you go on your hero's journey of I'm going to up-level my money consciousness, or my wealth consciousness. You step over that threshold I remember back going, you know, leaving my job, that left my comfort zone. I was like, ah, oh my God, <laughs> step over the threshold. And then all the tension and the challenges come, come your way. And this can create a breaking point. You, but some people give up and they revert back to their old ways and contract back to their upper limits, to their set points. And others step, up, step over, allow themselves to be in the experience of the breakthrough allow the emotions that are coming up, work through the inner emotions, let go, release, so they don't get trapped. Because the key is that, you know, being in the breakthrough, the breakthrough isn't the end. The work is to embody that up-leveled state so you can hold it for longer and then you can expand it further. Does that make sense? So you can breathe more easily to know that it's just completely normal if you have noticed that you feel like you've gone up and down the vibrational scale in terms of feeling amazing and embodied in something and then kind of coming out of it and contracting back. Because the thing is, we're, infect we're affected by our identity, the environment that we're in, the results that we see. This all creates a feedback loop that up from our, you know, our energy is then corresponding with our reality. And naturally, we're wired. We want comfort. We desire comfort. And so it's really easy to revert back to the default set points, back to what feels familiar. And then we undo what could work. So what actually happens when you up level your money consciousness? Because it, it's a physical and a healing experience because emotions vibrate at different different frequencies in our body. If you just think of it a bit like a different TV channels, different radio stations, the joy is vibrating the highest, fear vibrating the lowest. And the higher the vibration in our bodies, the more easily our cells can communicate with each other and your body can heal and grow. And then we attract things that are in alignment with the wave wavelengths that we're sending out. So the more in flow, the more magnetic we are, the more in expansion we are, the quicker we can manifest. And then, of course, when we're in a contraction, and we're vibrating at that heaviest, the lowest frequencies, you know, a natural, normal human emotions that we all experience throughout our lifetime, fear, guilt, shame, anger. When we're holding those in a trapped way that might be hiding from our conscious mind, our brain is sending out mixed, mixed messages, holding split energies. We can have dual beliefs, 
that's all creating confusion, confusing messages to ourselves. And it takes more work and more efforting to manifest. And we can feel like, you know, we're pushing treacle up a hill. This is where we feel the contraction and where our cells, you know, vibrate slower, they communicate with each other less. That ultimately has a knock on impact on our health. And it's very stressful. And stress is something that, you know, we're all familiar with when we're experiencing stress, that that vibrational incoherence in your body is triggered by by low vibration emotions. So an up level is the act of your body assimilating the energy in the higher frequency that comes with elevated emotions and beliefs. And just as a word on this, as you're expanding your consciousness, you might experience some physical symptoms like dizziness or buzzing, buzzing in your ears or a sort of sense of confusion, completely normal, might feel a bit weird at first, just set the intention that you're going to integrate easily and effortlessly, and then you'll be feeling incredibly joyful and energized afterwards. Here's the thing that anyone who has grown their business to six figures and beyond, you'll know, you'll know this, and if you're on the journey, then here's a heads up then this doesn't stop. Every time you want to up-level your money consciousness, it's going to require more of you. And I love to share this as an analogy because it, I mean, it really resonates for me. So let me know if it resonates for you. But up-leveling is like when you're taking a, you know, a first-class flight to a new destination. As you board the plane, instead of turning right to go into economy, you turn left. You've up-leveled. You walk behind the curtain. You're greeted with a glass of champagne. Welcome. They know your name. And they show you to your spacious seat. With a nice little blanket. Got your glass of champagne and a menu with food that's actually edible. You've got choice on it. Space for your legs. You're really lucky you can lie down. And you settle in comfortably. Knowing that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Of course, you're meant to be in first class. And it feels amazing, abundant. A luxury that you're just so grateful for and you can feel it in every cell of your body and when you get to an up level of course you need to prove you're in the right place so when you board that plane you show them your id you show them your passport your ticket madam can i see your passport oh yes please turn left you're proving that you are meant to be in the, you're in the right place you're going in the right place so you ask for your ticket to make sure that you're meant to be there so your ID and your ticket for the up level for what we're doing here this week. I invite you to consider the following. These are your proof that you're in the right place, your embodied identity. So this is where you're holding the consciousness of your future self. So this is the version of you that's already living the reality that you're, you're creating. Your personal boundaries. So holding the space for yourself, your business, your clients. How often do you stop doing the thing that you know that works? How often do you put yourself last? Your personal boundaries, absolutely key. Forgiveness. Forgiveness for yourself for any business decisions that haven't panned out yet, any self-judgments. Or perhaps for you know forgiveness for others who've not stayed in integrity with you, and of course this you know goes across your personal life as well. And then taking energetic responsibility. You can only truly release what you take responsibility for, including your current reality, as a result of an intention, as a result of limiting beliefs, trapped emotions. This is a biggie. I will start to reveal how you can bust through where you may not be taking energetic responsibility tomorrow. So what starts to happen as you up level is you'll experience new opportunities, invitations to join high end masterminds. You'll speak to bigger audiences to be more visible, to collaborate with more established business owners. You know, whatever it's going to look like for your business. I know people have got different businesses here you get the opportunity to embody it and this comes from our vibration how we're showing up for ourselves how we're holding ourselves in relationships how we take care of our our business consciousness how we take care of money how we circulate money how we take care of ourselves 
But if you break through and up level, you're accepting the opportunity to hold it. And you have the opportunity to feel the expansion. And this is where it can feel really stretchy, where you, you, know, you follow your beliefs, you take action on it. So you're creating the energy of motion with your action, which attracts more action for you. Action is absolutely key. The, the thing is, just to speak to this, is that up levels aren't a guaranteed permanent level in our lives. So just invite you just to take a moment to think, OK, have you ever found yourself contracting back after an up level or making a claim to go for an up level? Even just saying you're going to go for an up level can, can trigger a contraction. You know you want to go in the, this direction and then you start to feel the resistance bubbling up. Do you follow the resistance? Because that's that's the way where the resistance is. Or do you? Because the body's very clever. The subconscious is a very clever way to, to keep you in line with your somatic default set point. Your body's intelligence is kicking in to keep you in alignment with your current identity. And so just to speak to these, a somatic default point, think of this as neural pathways that are just acting as internal reference points, set points that are creating your glass ceiling. They stop you from increasing your client base, manifesting more money, more joy, more time, the relationships that you desire. And our brain and our nervous system just works so hard to maintain these set points, even if they aren't serving us. And that's where we can start to see you know, you might see a little bit of expansion and then whoops, the business plateau. Our client attractions affected, our money's affected, our relationships are affected, how it's going to show up for you. I talk about this a lot with my clients and in the wealth portal where clients were, you know, set, been saying oh, they feel amazing. They start to see shifts and they feel really good and they know their identity is changing. And then things bubble up and they find themselves catching them, catching themselves, not leaning in. Oh, they've missed a call or feeling resistance to doing the activations, even though they know they work. It's like, what's going on? Why have I stopped doing it? Why do I not want to do that module? And it's because they know that they work, that they're resisting it. Their body's addicted to that old emotional set point. And it's going through withdrawal. So this is where it's imperative to yeah, keep doing the work. Keep allowing yourself to, to lean in, even though the body's going to be going, no. <laughs> and that's so that you can allow a new emotional set point to be imprinted. So you can work through the resistance, allow the feelings of the contraction so that you're able to move through that for your body to be able to feel that that, um, that new emotional set point is going to be easier than the old one. One of the key pieces is the, the breakthrough to the up level. It's on the other side of that resistance. That makes sense. So our brain and our nervous system just know are working really hard to maintain the status quo. So I guide our clients through that so they can pop out the other side because everything is on the other side of that, of the identity, the beliefs and emotions that have been keeping you in that, in your holding pattern. One of our clients was reflecting, so this is in the wealth portal when she, um, when she came in, she used to use um, Facebook ads in her business, well, she was using Facebook ads and still is. And before her whole experience had been they required a lot of fiddling and going back and forth to get them approved and costing more than you know the standard norm in the in the in the um conversion you know systems for for facebook and costing more and all the things and then through the inner work and the transformation she'd done with us and it just completely completely blew her mind because she did a new facebook ad it got approved straight away and it was easy and the performance was good and the cost per conversion was down and she was like I don't know what's going on because my body was reacting. She said it felt like it was easier for Facebook to be hard. She just didn't know how to hold it, that it was easy. She said it felt harder to energetically hold that, if that makes sense. That was our next piece of work, being able to support her with the hold, allowing her nervous system to expand so that she could hold that changing her identity, all the things that were hiding in the blind spots so that she could you know, live in the surplus. And then she had her first 100K month as well, which was really exciting. So have you had that experience where you can feel that you're in flow and expansion and somehow you suddenly pop out of it? Perhaps you lose interest. It just feels a bit weird that everything is going so well or you're afraid it's going to suddenly, suddenly drop. Going so well, can I maintain it? Oh my God, it's all going to suddenly disappear. Or you suddenly feel too tired. This is where you're starting to feel the nervous system's capacities being triggered. 
So let us know in the comments, what does it look for, look like for you when you've realized your nervous system's capacity has been triggered? You can feel yourself pulling yourself back out of flow. We have to find the that hidden belief, the emotions, those emotional energetic patterns that we get addicted to that is holding that set point in place. And this can happen at any level of business, whether it's new, emerging, you're established. Does that resonate? Let us, let us know in the comments. So I'd love to know as well. So who's broken through a money ceiling and is ready to break through the next one? Who feels like they haven't quite yet broken through a money ceiling and would like to? And I'd love to know as well, was when was the last time your money grew? This is going to look different for everybody. So depending on how, you know, established your business is. If it's a new business, of course, your skill in marketing and sales comes into it as well. And I'm big on developing your skills in business. So wherever we're at in business, we're, you know, we always need to fine tune our skills and sharpen our skills in, in, in our marketing and sales and operations and systems and all the things that's why we dive into all of that in the infinite prosperity collective alongside the energy alignment and the akashic record activations so we've got some people who would would like to break through some people that have had a breakthrough but not broken through for a long time or ready to expand the breakthrough this is great and of course if you're Joining the replay, would love to know if you've had a breakthrough, ready for a breakthrough. When was the last time your money grew? Because our, de our default pattern of being used to having things in a certain way, we just then, because of this, we just recreate things over and over again. And we can hear ourselves saying things like, so you have, have a bit of flow comes in and then you might have, say this or have thoughts like this, I've just had my best month. Things are feeling good. Maybe I'll just skip my personal development or my manifesting for today. Or what about this one? I'm just going to wait until I've got this and that in place before I do this or that. Instead of getting you know, the support in place, you can do it all with more ease. That's the expense of, of waiting. What's that costing? So what are the kind of thoughts that come in? What have you heard yourself say? Let us know in the comments. And this is a writer downer. Don't believe your thoughts. It's just a thought form that's been created because your nervous system, you've hit your nervous system's capacity, your energetic ceiling. Don't believe your thoughts. Yeah, so notice as you look back in the chat, what are, your, what are the thoughts that you're telling yourself? What are you buying out of the thoughts that you're thinking? Does that make sense? So who's realized perhaps you haven't manifested any more money since you got married? That can come up for people or you've been in a certain relationship. So things were going really, really well. Suddenly you allowed love into your life. Whoop, money contraction. Or manifesting getting sick after a money expansion. Letting go of your wellness and self-care practice or having time with the family. The things that were, are in our value filter because you know, more money's come in and we feel like we've created less time for ourselves. Or feeling like you might die if you allow more money in. I know when there's a big wish of money that's come in, that's a lot of energy coming in. Money is energy. Being able to energetically leave your nervous system to hold that big whoosh of money coming in. That can trigger an expansion, a uh, contraction. And perhaps you feel like you're in a holding pattern. And you're like, I just can't figure out <laughs> what the resistance is. Where do I go? <laughs> How do I get myself out of this contraction? This is what taking ourselves out of the up level can feel like. And the impact of all of this, of course, is we then it just takes longer for things to manifest. And it just creates this yo-yo effect. One that you're familiar with. So that yo-yo effect becomes your default set point. 
You're used to it. The body's used to it. The body's used to the frustration, the bitterness, the fear, that chemical reaction. So it wants to create more of that feeling. Who has done that, kind of created that yo-yo effect? I know I have. Let me know in the comments. And so just pay attention. What kind of things have you found yourself thinking that you've then believed? <laughs> Let us know in the let us know in the comments. And in terms of you know thinking about how our identity creates our reality, and back to our requirements of our flight to our desired destination, these are indicators that our current ticket and passport is for an identity that isn't going to take us to where we want to go. We've got a lot of I've got a flight with a lot of stopovers along the way, rather than a direct flight, and they've moved us back to economy. <laughs> So it's going to be more uncomfortable to get to the place where we want to go and take longer. So to create long lasting change, we need to change our set point. We need to change our identity. This will change our vibrational attraction point. And this is what we dive deep into in the Wealth Portal. And this is what we're going to start doing together today. We'll start kickstart your up leveling of your money consciousness. And I'm going to be introducing you to the Helix Method, which is our energy psychology modality that we use within our programs and how I work with my clients and some of the techniques that we use within the Helix Method so that our clients can move through the, attract, the contractions, heal the emotions and the beliefs that have held them back, find out where that energetic pattern is being held in the body, work with their body's intelligence to be able to let these emotional energetic patterns go so that their vibrational attraction point changes and up levels. So we do the work to together to start to create the identity, the paradigm that your future self has that creates that new electromagnetic frequency that creates the life that you want. And a great way just to kind of if you're thinking, well, where is my current money and set money set point? It's reflected back to us by our current experience. So you can just simply look around. What what have I created? What's my experience right now? OK, this is my current set point. Your relationship with money is an outward reflection of your relationship with yourself. And if we buy into our beliefs from our current paradigm, our current identity that's created this current experience, we're just going to keep recreating the same thing. That makes sense. And you can literally just listen and observe your own inner voice to hear the beliefs that you've sold yourself on and the thoughts that pop up that will try and keep you within that set point. So it's really key to have a methodology and guidance to support yourself to Ninja your way around it to create a self-identity and frequency that your future self has. And then that's the vibration that's going to attract you to your next level. And building that belief in yourself, having that faith, that frequency of certainty and faith that it's working, that's magnetic. Self-belief, trust, faith and certainty. So we're here for the up level of breaking through the money ceiling so that the Art of up-leveling your money consciousness includes the breakthrough and remembering that an up-level requires care and maintenance. So just like getting physically fit, you don't stop eating or moving your body as soon as you've reached your, your level. Because if you stop, what's going to happen? You're going to lose the muscles that you've created. The weight starts to creep back on. We all know this. The sugar somehow sneaks back into your diet. And before we know it, it's been a week before we've been to the gym even though we were doing so well and we haven't maintained our health consciousness. So we had great gains and then like, <laughs> so you maintain your progress in your vibration, you know, in your frequency, just as you do in your body by bringing yourself into alignment with your next level of money consciousness and being consistent, taking care of your consciousness. And what I've come to, to learn over the years is that, you know, in the realities that we create for ourselves, we want, we want alignment within each area of our life, wealth, health, relationships, living living our purpose, in our work, in our home. We want to have that balance and harmony whilst living at our highest potential in all areas of life. For me, that's truly alignment. That's aligned success. Alignment where you're connected with your higher self, where you can co-create with higher intuition. This activates your receiving mode. And being in alignment with what you desire is, is the first step to consciously manifesting. And we need to take into account both, you know, the alignment and being a vibrational match to what you desire. Because it is your vibrational frequency that creates your reality and all that you manifest. 
the reality creation and the art of alignment and manifesting is about creating an identity that's in resonance and an energetic match to that which you desire. So you're up leveling your consciousness through your vibration. So just invite you to think of everything, everything in the universe is energy. Think of the universe in terms of frequencies and vibrations. Everyone's familiar with, you know, Wi-Fi. We all have Wi-Fi in our homes. We're all connected together today through the, the internet and the Wi-Fi being able to, so you're able to, I can see your messages. You can hear me speaking. So we're familiar with radio waves waves and frequencies transmitting that we can't see across space and time and the easiest way to think about us human beings is to think of us having our own human wi-fi so our own transmission between ourselves and the universe our thoughts sending out a frequency our emotions sending out a frequency into the electromagnetic field so we've got our own personal electromagnetic field you think of your aura like a recording device Every, every emotion, experience, thought, belief is imprinted into your auric field. And all our previous experiences of, you know, of trauma, they all impact our capacity to receive. There's this energetic imprint held in our aura, emitting a frequency. And so healing the energetics from this lifetime, past lives, transgenerational patterns, this is just key, absolutely key for our wealth consciousness. And by clearing your thought patterns and beliefs and emotions that don't serve you, you're changing the electromagnetic frequency and thereby therefore change your experience of your environment. Have you ever considered why we can feel like we have this sort of, you know, push-pull going on with growth and success, the, the, the resistance that we experience or when we're pushing against something, that just creates more resistance. And then the cost to ourselves you know for, of that because you know there is a cost and this is the thing you know we're motivated by growth having more success having an income breakthrough by the getting having and keeping of all the things that we desire but there is a hidden reason why we are stuck and it comes down to our, our identity our default set points and what we're holding in the different layers of consciousness so we have different layers of consciousness and our you know, our conscious mind, the one that we're listening to, we think we're listening to all the time, is only about five to 10%. That's just the tip of the iceberg, the bit that we can see. And then we have our subconscious mind, the unconscious mind, the bits below the, the waterline of the icebergs, absolutely vast. And then we have our super conscious or higher self. I like to think of our higher self. This is your true self. This is part of your soul. And your soul is one part of your oversoul. You are so much bigger than you may have originally known you are everybody is divine multi-dimensional beings energetic beings so all of this is impacting our human wi-fi in this current moment in time this is your magnetism and this you might be thinking well how does this all relate to the akashic record so just to give you some context there so the akashic records or the akashic library is a history of every thought word action of every living creature throughout time and we're imprinting into the Akashic Records at this very moment in time. We're always imprinting into the Akashic Records and our human brains can envisage them. I like to think of it like spiritual Google, an online database, a huge library that you can access. It's a soul level dimension of consciousness. And the Akashic Records exist as an energetic archive of all souls throughout time. This includes past, present and future possibilities. And we can clear past life interference, karmic patterns, soul contracts, and so much more working in this dimension at this soul level of consciousness. We've got a lot going on in our personal energy fields and in all different levels of our consciousness. And you're going to experience an Akashic Record activation on, on Wednesday. So the art of alignment and manifesting is about creating an embodied identity in alignment with the different levels of our consciousness that's in resonance so that you are a coherent energetic match to that which you desire so think of it as your identity that creates the paradigms and the concepts and these create the beliefs and your beliefs and your emotions they inform your behaviors and your action and then the experiences feedback and reinforce those behaviors the emotions the beliefs 
the concepts and your identity and together they create your reality so you've got this feedback loop going in and out of your of your aura and it's our consciousness that we need to consider and the different layers of consciousness that if you think of the iceberg of consciousness all of this is impacting our our electromagnetic waves so of course consciously one might be thinking yeah i want to be in alignment with my money i want to create more money i'm ready to receive more money and then the subconscious is like going hang on your default set point is here so sorry about that. We're going to actually just create some things where you're going to be experiencing something different. And the thing is, is if we're disconnected from our higher self, then we haven't got the energetic support of our higher self on board for our manifesting. And if we're out of alignment with our higher self, this is where we can feel like what's going on. Our conscious mind and our subconscious mind can be feeling like that they're creating that feeling of driving down the road of life, but you feel like you've got one foot on the brake and one foot on the on the pedal. You've got this kind of push-pull sensation going on, going, oh my God, what's going on? Does this resonate? I can see loads of comments <laughs> in the in the in the chat. This feels like this is resonating, which is awesome. So I'd love to know what are your what are your money channels? So how does money come to you? What do you offer in your business? So you might have, you know, programs, products that you offer. You might have your own investments, services. What are your money channels? So let me know. What's your business? How do people pay you for the magic that you do, the service that you offer? So we've got our, think of that as the vehicle that the universe can bring money to you. So maybe an employer. You've got your job, money coming to you through your job. And then I invite you to think about, okay, so what's your monthly goal? Your monthly goal for what you desire. So you've plugged it into your consciousness, your monthly goal, got your roadmap, you've got your business or your job or your investments, however money's coming to you. Conscious mind knows where it's going. We've put the coordinates in like a sat nav. Take me here. Take me to... 10k months take me to 30k months take me to 100k months you know whatever it is for your business and you know the the goals are going to be different depending on whether you're new emerging or established whatever your intention is for your business and then our subconscious and our body starts to freak out and pull us back down that vibrational scale back down to our comfort zone Does that resonates and it's course, you know, as we've stepped outside of our comfort zone, we've just triggered all of that, triggered that all in our nervous system. So this is truly why we, by doing this inner work and raising our energetic vibration, we'll have the biggest impact on how you, the success you have as you're implementing strategies. The strategies need to be in alignment with, with who you are. Making decisions about implementing strategies from a, from a contracted place is going to give you very different results from implementing strategies from an expanded place. And the beauty is, as you raise your energetic vibration, others around you are going to rise up too. We rise together. So we're going to be freeing up some of this contraction, some of this resistance, this stickiness to these default set points. And we're going to be bringing your higher self, your subconscious and conscious mind aligned and together. This is really key. So I'm going to introduce you to our manifesting ritual, which is just one of the techniques that we use in the Helix Method. It's something you can fit into like a 10, 15 minute period every day. The subconscious does really well with habits and repetition. So this is our manifesting ritual, connecting in with your higher self, creating the consciousness of your future self. So this is where we're bringing ourselves into resonance with what we desire. And we do this through releasing and getting rid of anything that's you know no longer serving us allowing and moving through that contraction and then doing the imprinting so that we're imprinting the expansion we do this through inner and outer spoken activations creating new thought forms in our energy field and then when we've activated this and this frequency in our field living in the energy of the question this is living, asking questions that come from a place of the assumption that is already done and created, we're already experiencing it, because that, as you're connected to your higher self and that etheric pathway is activated, gives you intuition and guidance. So when you take action from that place, you have you start to see more synchronicities coming in and it really does start to feel like magic. And then this is the piece that you get to do is to take the aligned action. Of course, we need to take the aligned action. So 
We're going to start doing this together today. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for you to experience this. This is exactly how I brought myself into energetic alignment for growing my business, starting to create those 20 to 30K months and beyond. And it really was bringing this in, bringing in this practice and doing this consistently that was a game changer for me and brought me into alignment so that I was the energetic match to what I wanted to create. And this is what I teach in the Wealth Portal is this is my process of how I manifest and you know how to release the trauma, the trauma that we know about and all the stuff that we don't know about that's that's hidden and embedded, those energetic uh, patterns that are being held in our, our frequency and our human Wi-Fi. So it works. I'm so excited you're getting a taste of it today and you'll be experiencing it this, this week. So are you ready to expand your capacity to receive more money? So you can start to trust yourself more and to really feel fully self-expressed in, in all areas of your life. Let me let me know in the comments. Give me a yes. Are you ready to move into the experience of having that certainty of it's working? Anytime you want. Pop in the comments. It's working. <laughs> let, let me Just to let me know that you are. You're ready for it. I'm ready to embody it's working. That faith and certainty. It's working. Oh, that frequency of... How good does that feel? It's working. This is so exciting. It's working. So we're going to do some initial energy work together today to up-level your money consciousness. I'm going to walk you through it and then we will wrap up for today. We're going to dive in deeper tomorrow. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for tomorrow's class. This is so exciting. Okay, so we're going to connect in and activate your connection with your higher self. So we want to be really intentional here <clears throat> because energy follows intention. But to do this, we're going to bring our higher self, our conscious mind and subconscious into alignment through intention. And then I'm going to invite you to set your intention for this week. So what I mean by that is what money are you calling in for this week? Open to receiving. OK, so I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. And we're going to create an intention of connection through your breath. And to increase your life force energy through your breath. So I'm just going to invite you to, so to close your eyes and just to visualize above your head, about 18 inches above your head, your soul star chakra. And just to see this as a beautiful blue pearl, just vibrating about 18 inches above your head. This is your connection to your higher self. Just notice how this feels etherically for you as you become aware of your soul star chakra and bring your attention to that part of your energy body. And as you do this, you may wish to put your hand on your heart. I'm just gonna invite you to now increase your life force energy through your breath. So just to do this at your own pace because everyone's breathing flow is gonna be slightly different. Inviting you to breathe in for four, just to hold for four and then breathe out for eight. And just to do this three times with the intention that you're increasing your life force energy and your connection with your higher self. Being aware how you feel in your body as you're doing this. I'm just going to share an invocation that you can repeat in your mind's eye if it resonates. I'm speaking to all levels of my consciousness. I'm creating a clear channel of communication and manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self, so that they are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And from this place, I'm just inviting you to notice how you're feeling, the expansiveness you're feeling. And to bring into your mind's eye your intention for the amount you desire to call in. And if you're used to manifesting money more easily, then go with a higher amount. So whether it's 2,000, 10,000, 40,000, whatever it is for you, wherever your business is at. 
you might have a monthly intention. Wouldn't it be fun to call that in in a week? If you've had any contraction around calling in money, then go with something that feels like it's doable, it's going to kick up less resistance, because we want to build your confidence around this. And you've called it in, you can set another, another intention, you can build on it. Of course, we've all got a bigger vision, a bigger reality that we're creating, ideas and visions about the impact that we want to make in the world. Experiences that would elevate, elevate our experience of life. What we're doing is we're manifesting an amount of money that's going to contribute towards our bigger vision. And then I want you to write out this amount of money as though you've received it already. So the phrase to use is, I've just now received over whatever the amount is. So just now received over 20,000. It's easy speed. It's easy. So I just now received over 20,000 with easy speed. So just write it out with your hand, in your handwriting on your journal, on your piece of paper. Type it in the comments so we know what you're what you're calling in. We can witness witness you, celebrate with you. And then I'm going to invite you to take a moment now to visualize yourself receiving this money. So either by seeing it coming into your bank account or receiving a check or your PayPal account or a Stripe account, however money comes to you normally. What is it? that you see in reality that tells you some money's coming, you've received some money. What is your usual thing? Is it a notification via email? Is it you going into your Stripe account and seeing it there? So I'm going to invite you now to spend a couple of minutes just seeing it in your mind's eye and saying, thank you, universe, for taking care of this. And I invite you to use the term that is relevant for you spiritually so thank you universe thank you god thank you spirit thank you source whatever term works for you and really inviting you to feel into the emotion of you've already got this it's already done feel the appreciation and gratitude and as you see this in your mind's eye i'm going to invite you to think of the next step what will this manifestation give you where did you put this money when you received it? Let's give it a home. So is the money coming in? Is it going into savings? Has it given you peace of mind? Has it paid for a team member? Have you invested in a program? Have you invested in deposit for a house, a holiday? So you might see two images in your mind. The money coming in, thank you, universe, for taking care of this. You're seeing it in the, the bank account. And then you see yourself paying for that deposit for the house or the extension or the team member. Thank you, universe, for taking care of this. Alrighty, so I'm going to play some music for just two minutes, just so you can really allow yourself to be in the, the gift of activating this manifestation. So let's pop some music on. I'm going to put it on in a second. If you can't hear it, just give me a shout out. You should be able to hear it. Let's see what have we got.
And from this space, I invite you to notice the energy field on the outside of your body. Notice how magnetic it is. It has the vibration and the essence of you. Take a moment to fill up your human Wi-Fi with the frequency of love. Allow yourself to feel the love in your heart. Fill it up with more and more love. And expand this love through your human Wi-Fi, beyond your energy field, sending it out to all time and space. To mix and co-create with everybody who is part of our Breakthrough the Money Ceiling Masterclass. We're creating a beautiful vortex a circle of manifesting money fast. We're all connected in this now moment. We call in our spiritual teachers, masters, guides to support us and hold the space for us this week. Taking a moment to build a circle, connecting all of us with the frequency of love. I'm inviting you to send all of your love to our vortex. Seeing our circle filled with heart energy, colors of pink, and helix threads of gold infusing our container. And I invite you to consider the frequency that you want to add to our manifestation vortex. I'm adding in the frequency of certainty. It's working. When you're ready, open your eyes and take a moment just to tap into the comments or in the chat, a frequency that you want to call in. Is it love, joy, momentum, speed, commitment, faith? Optimism, ease, grace. Oh, it's feeling so good. Love. Manifestation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And from this space, just allowing yourself to be in this frequency. So just giving yourself a nice heart coherence breath, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. So you can just allow yourself to stay in this energy, feeling this frequency, this beautiful vortex, these beautiful essences and frequencies everyone's added into our manifestation vortex. And from this space, I'm going to invite you to ask this question. I call this living in the energy of the question. So asking this question as if this is your new normal. The energy behind this question is of wonder and awe. This is what you're already experiencing. Just notice how this feels in your body as you ask it without attachment. 
Why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Just allow yourself to feel into this question. Why am I surrounded by so much love and abundance? Why, why am I surrounded by love and abundance? And the energy of it being a question creates a vacuum in the universe, which the universe will fill. So we're being in the allowance of the question rather than trying to answer it. Just notice what ideas come to you, any names that come to you, people you haven't thought of for a while, that higher self voice, that soft voice of your soul speaking to you. Pay attention and take action. Take action on the synchronicities that come to you, any ideas, inspiration. Alrighty, so when you're ready, you come back together. I'd love to know how you're feeling. But to recap the introduction to the manifesting ritual the helix method manifesting ritual we've done together is connecting and activating your higher self aligning the conscious mind subconscious and higher self for manifesting an alignment creating the consciousness of the future self through intention setting and rewiring so today we did rewiring the amount you're going to manifest with a visual visualization activation so writing it out as I've just now received over 20,000 with easy speed and visualizing yourself receiving this money either through a, a check or in your bank account. I invite you to do this again tomorrow morning. Saying thank you, universe, for taking care of this. You can amp up your human Wi-Fi with some music that makes you feel good. Living in the energy of the question, why am I surrounded by love and abundance? And then taking the aligned action. And just take a moment now to see if there's any ideas that come to you. And I invite you every day this week to find Five people, reach out to five people each each day this week. Just ask them, how are they doing? If they've considered your services before, ask them if they're still looking to achieve their goal. And they, If they're ready, they might say, yes, I am. And you can say, I would love to help you achieve the goal. Are they open to going deeper with you this year? Just reach out to five people today. Lead from a place of holding love. If, if the energy of love was running your business and knew with a thousand percent certainty that you could help somebody, you would let them know how. So you can lead with, well, what would love do? Covered a lot today. So as we wrap up, I'm going to invite you to consider what is your takeaway from today so you can really anchor it in and embody it. So we've busted one of the myths around up-leveling your money consciousness and up unwrap why they aren't guaranteed as a permanent thing, that contraction and expansion, what we can do to create consistency around the up-level and learn about the breakthrough cycle, how to up-level your money consciousness with a new identity, which includes your thoughts, emotions and beliefs and actions, Requiring more of yourself with fortified personal boundaries, forgiveness and taking energetic responsibility and a daily up level of your money consciousness practice. Being in alignment is the first step to consciously manifesting and alignment is the level that you're connected in with your higher self where you can co-create with your higher intuition and it activates your receiving mode. And you up level your money consciousness through vibration and being in alignment and then energetic match to that which you desired and we introduce you to the helix method manifesting ritual which is it's just one of the tools that we use in the helix method the energy psychology modality and if you're catching the replay i would love to hear your your takeaways as well 
And we've got prizes this week for our action takers. So do share your shifts and wins in the Facebook group so we can witness and celebrate you. If it feels aligned, please do share that you're taking part in our masterclass this week on social media. You can take screenshots, boomerangs of our lives, share and tag us. And when we see that you've shared and uh, shared on social media, we'll pop your name into the draw. And then also anybody who joins the um, Facebook group and comes in and says that they join because of you, we'll pop your name into a draw as well, because we so appreciate you doing this. And the, we've got prizes every day this week, so stay tuned. And you, when we pop your name into the draw for, the, um, for sharing and inviting, you can win a digital future progression in the Akashic Records with me, which is so powerful. And the value of this is £444. So super excited for, for everybody's entrances into the, the, to the draw for that. And we're going to gift three of those. So we'd love to know what has been your takeaway from today. You can anchor it in, embody it, pop it in the comments. And I also invite you to notice how expansive and aligned your intention you're feeling right now. So on a scale of one to 10, where are you feeling now? And then just take a moment to see if you've gone up. We've got a nine. Yes, yes, yes. 10 plus. Stop it. That's more nine. So we've we've raised the vibes in the house. I love it. This is awesome. Eight, definitely up. Yes, yes, yes. This is fantastic. So just taking a moment to become aware. And how can you feel the expansion in your body? How is your body speaking to you? Just take a moment to become aware. Got a nine. Alrighty. Thank you so much for joining me today, both live and on the replay. It's been a complete honor to serve you. We're going to be back tomorrow at two o'clock for our second masterclass, Unlocking the Secrets of Reality Creation. We're going to be diving into the energetics and doing some more of the Helix Method with you tomorrow. So make sure you leave some time for integration after our time together tomorrow. We're going to be doing some deep energetic work together. Bring a glass of water so you've got plenty of water to drink, a notepad and pens. You can take notes. If you have a lovely journal, bring your journal. Can't wait to be diving in tomorrow we're also giving and we've got an exciting giveaway as well for those of you that are live on the call so really encourage you to be um, live with me if you can until then thank you so much for joining me i hope that this has served you and i will see you all tomorrow lots and lots of love take care bye bye